building information modeling is facilitating project collaboration among engineering and construction related parties. Hello, my name is Jason, a mechanical engineering student from HKU. I'm now using a student version of Autodesk account. We know that work sharing function in Autodesk Revit linking with Beam 360 can allow multi-users to simultaneously edit the same project file. However, students like me may not be having a free access to Beam 360 for work sharing. It may not be productive if every teammate have to take turns editing the file to avoid any conflicts of amendment. So how can we simultaneously edit the file with educational license or student version of Autodesk account? Here's a little experience to share with you guys when I was preparing a BIM project. The solution is mainly about creating a template file for team members to decide their assigned parts and further merging together with link reference function. We can apply this method for two major scenarios when we like to simultaneously edit the new model for different parts or simultaneously modify this existing project if there are sudden amendments or addition. Let's take jigsaw puzzle as an analogy. A play file is like a board for puzzles, giving the coordinates and structure each team member will decide their own parts based on the template. Say this user decide the first floor, while this one decide the second floor, and so on. At the end, we will link all the individual parts into the main file, completing the whole picture. Let's say now the case is having a four-story building and each teammate is responsible for the interior design of one floor. We firstly create a template for every teammate to work on their designs based on the template coordinates and then link the draft main model into the template. By clicking copy and monitor, copy the floor levels from the main model so that we can add it on the the floor later on. Then the template is ready for all to work on it individually and simultaneously. Let's say our part is working on the first floor. We start our design on the template without the need of editing the main model one by one. Remove the linked main model after finishing our part. You can see only our design left in the template file for later merging. When all members have done their own parts, linking all individual parts into the main model. Here's the efficient rate of division of labor. Bind and ungroup every linked parts so that they can be fully integrated into the main model. After that, you can see the linked parts are separated into discrete elements. That's how a student team can design the new models productively at the same time. What if existing project requires sudden amendment and addition? Say we have to amend the existing partition arrangement, a teammate should directly modify it on the main model. Meanwhile, if we need to add new elements to the model, say pie dots along the utilities, another teammate can create it based on the coordinates provided by the template file. Finally, merging them by link reference. Practically speaking, we can see the left hand side a team member is amending partition walls on the existing model directly. At the same time, another teammate on the right is adding new element, a pie dot as an example, on the template file. After creating new elements on the right hand side, same step as mentioned. Remove the link of the main model, and save the new parts for later merging. In the end, linking the new parts just saved into the amended main model, and again, bind and ungroup the link. And that's it! I hope you guys enjoyed the sharing. If there are better ideas on the solution, feel free to share.